The Cannon High School in Clovis, California has a diverse group of students and faculty. This rich culture is heavily influenced by the religions and philosophical ideas found here. These ideas lead to a better understanding of each other for who we are, where we came from, and what we believe. My name is Faith Robinson and I'm a Christian. I actually come from a very long line of Christians, like I'm like the fourth or fifth generation, so. And Christians believe that God sent His only Son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and Jesus lived a perfect life and then died on the cross so we could spend eternity with God. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead and now we have hope for this life and the next as well. Uh, my name is Derek Zhang and I'm Christian. I found it on my own. Well, it was more like my friends introduced me because I come from a Chinese immigrant household, so everyone here is atheist. With Christianity, I like to think that it's all up to actually three commandments and every single other rule and regulation comes from these three commandments. First one is to love the Lord with your mind, your body, and your spirit. And the second one is to love your neighbor. And the third one is to love yourself. Every single kind of act that Christianity is supposed to do comes from these comes from these three um, commandments. So any type of um, belief, any type of regulation that comes from Christianity is ultimately from these three commandments. I'm Daniela Morales and I'm a Roman Catholic. I was born into this religion. Um, actually, we're called cradle Catholics. So we believe in seven sacraments left behind by Jesus Christ. Um, some that include reconciliation, confirmation, baptism. Every one of us is called to be saints. And I think a common misconception of the Catholic Church is that we praise them, I guess, but in reality, we don't believe that they're at the same plane as Jesus Christ. My name is Ikra Kayani and I'm Muslim. I was born in the religion. I'm first generation American and my parents came from Pakistan. Um, well, one of the base, like the main beliefs are the five pillars of Islam, Shahada. It's like I testify that I'm Muslim, like Ashadu la ilaha illallah wa shabna Muhammadan abduhu rasulullah, which means that I bear that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is messenger. Um, Zakah, which is um, pretty much donation. Then we have prayer, fasting, and then Hajj, which is pilgrimage. And that's like you go to the Kaaba, which is in Saudi Arabia, one time in your life. So our like main prophet is Muhammad Wasallam, And we believe that he's the last prophet and that his message was to convey Islam to everybody. Pretty much similar to Judaism and Christianity. Like we believe in the same stories and the same prophets, but yeah, like Muhammad and Jesus are like the main ones. My name is Courtney West. I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but our nickname are the Mormons. Personally, I grew up in the church. There's a time that comes in all of our lives where we have to decide, really, even if we grew up in the church. So when I was about 14, I had to come to know for myself if this truly was a church that I wanted to be involved in or if I should go elsewhere. I guess the basis of our religion is just being Christ-like. Um, following in his footsteps is basically the purpose of this life, is to, to learn and to grow and to show him and to show others that we believe in him and that when they look to us, they can see Jesus Christ. I guess what makes us different is we have kind of different beliefs about um, something called the plan of salvation, which is also called the plan of happiness. We believe that we lived with God before we came to earth and we believe that after we'll return to live with God. The thing was, is that growing up in this age especially, everything's so cynical now, and I felt really disoriented constantly. Nothing is stable, and then I've discovered this religion. I mean, yeah, there, there are some times where it seems like it doesn't really work out. For a while, I struggled to keep up with it, but then when I came back, I found out that if there's anything in my life that has kept me tethered, and has kept me safe in my mind, that has kept me, that has willed me to do, become a better person, all the big changes in my life, in my personality, in my beliefs, all come from this religion. And that in itself just keeps on affirming it for me. People of different religions and cultures live side by side in almost every part of the world. And most of us have overlapping identities, which unite us with very different groups. We can love what we are without hating what and who we are not. We can thrive in our own tradition, even as we learn from others, and come to respect their teachings. 